Welcome back. It's cold outside today. Temperatures stuck in the 20s across much of the Treasure Valley. We haven't seen much sunshine either. Not a real nice day. Let's take a look at our forecast, see if we can change things up. 28 in Boise this hour, 25 in Mounts and Home. It's 28 in Ontario. The mountains are colder. McCall's already in the teens. We're just about ready to step off into the single digits in Stanley. Sun Valley checking in at 16 this hour. Twin Falls at 22. Wind chills, uh, not too bad. About 14 in Mountain Home. It is pretty cold out in Twin Falls. Wind's blowing pretty good out there at 6. But they're about the same as the temperature here in Boise, Ontario, where the winds aren't all that bad. Same thing up in the mountains. Seeing scattered snow showers across most of Idaho. Nothing real heavy down here in the Snake River Plain, though some of the mountains have seen a fair amount of snow, especially Brundage, which picked up 13 inches in the last 24 hours. That's not too shabby. Further south, snow hitting the uh, Salt Lake area pretty good. Lots of snow up there for the Cottonwood Canyon, so ski resorts are looking real nice. Helped along, as always, by the warm Great Salt Lake, which helps to kind of buoy the air up and create that snow. That's why the Wasatch Range has all that great snow, by the way. That's your fun fact of the day. Further off to the southeast, pretty good snow out across uh, Colorado. Lots of snow east of Denver pushing into Kansas. And uh, another storm spinning its way down along the California border. You see it pushing right here. This is going to continue to push south down through the Sierra Nevada, bring a lot of needed snowpack there. But then it's going to swing down into Arizona, and it should arrive on New Year's Day just in time for the game. It's a good thing that the University of Phoenix Stadium has a roof because it's going to be pouring down rain and in the 50s all day New Year's Eve in uh, Glendale, Arizona. Not the nicest weather. So, of course, they put the roof on to protect them from the heat in the summer. So kind of unusual there. But in any case, uh, here in Boise, we're going to continue to sit here under some cold air. Uh, take a look at this, uh, taking a look at uh, temperatures really taking a dive here over the next few days. Uh, 30s today, we're looking at 20s for tomorrow, and uh, it's going to be a little bit cooler still on Wednesday as we dip down. Maybe you can see some highs in the teens in some parts of Idaho uh, down along the, the Treasure Valley. So some cold weather certainly on its way in. Taking a look now, high pressure settling over the region. This is going to bring gusty winds tomorrow. It's going to be cold outside, especially down along the Magic Valley where highs will be in the teens. Strong winds will bring those wind chills down close to zero. Not a real nice day there. But as high pressure settles over the region, it's going to start to trap a lot of this cold air in the valley, and that could lead to an inversion. It won't be here by tomorrow, but it could arrive as early as uh, New Year's Eve. 24 for Ontario, Vail, Caldwell, ready up to around 23. Could see some flurries in the morning. Could maybe slow your commute down just a bit, but I don't anticipate too many problems. Later in the day, we'll see the sun coming out. Should be nice. Mostly sunny across the west central mountains, but cold. 9 for McCall, 13 for Donnelly, only 10 for Cascade. Idaho City looking at a high of 19, maybe a flurry or two around uh, Pine and Featherville. Intense cold in Stanley, where temperature will drop down to 24 below zero tonight, warming up to only 2 tomorrow. Sun Valley should hit about 10 for a high, with Fairfield up to 14. It's going to be really cold, but you should see plenty of sun. Further south in the Magic Valley, we're going to see temperatures topping out in only the teens, with mostly sunny skies and breezy conditions. Not a real nice forecast. All right, next seven days, this is that time of year when inversions can happen, and it looks like that's going to happen this week. Expect fog by Wednesday morning. The fog will just get thicker and sit here. And I'm anticipating by Thursday, maybe Friday at the latest, we could get one of those stratus layers to just set up over the valley, which would bring us cloudy skies instead of sunshine there. Hard to say for sure whether it's going to develop and really keep the cold air trapped in, but I'm betting it will. The mountains, meanwhile, will see sunshine and temperatures will just get warmer and warmer throughout the week. So no new yeah. snow for the skiers, but at least they'll have sun to ski in. Well, that's true. And maybe more people going up in order to get out of the inversion, yes. too. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Well, 